And Henry Winkler, you all remember as, right, the Fonz. And now he's in a remarkable series called Fairy, where he plays an acting wow. coach. Wow. And preparing for an interview with someone like Henry Winkler. So of course I read the book and then look up things, look up various interviews. But the most important thing when you're interviewing somebody is to just listen and let them talk. And remember that they are the star. I'm just the facilitator. Monday, happy days. Wow. So as you all heard, a very special birthday was recently celebrated. And so we say happy birthday, Henry. One, two, three. Happy birthday, Henry. Thank you. So Henry, yes. I've been fascinated. I've been watching you over the last few weeks being interviewed. People call you the nicest guy, the king of kindness. Whoopi Goldberg said he is the most fabulous guy. So how do you describe yourself? Well, what I think is that I am grateful. And I am grateful that I'm on the earth. I'm grateful I'm living my dream. And I, it, 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 it makes me joyous. I am so happy that you're all here. I'm so happy that we are here. So it's not that I'm nice, I'm just happy to be where I am. Which brings us to happy days. Happy days, and yes. And the role that changed your life. I used to watch life. that show yes. religiously. <laughs> How many people remember growing up with this man? I got a star on, on, on Hollywood Boulevard under the portico of the Pantages Theater. I took a picture with my uh, grandchildren in front of my star. I take a toothbrush with me whenever we go to a play. <laughs> and uh, I met the Muppets. And speaking about your grandchildren, so you had, Stacy had a son when you married her, yes. Jed. Jed was four when I met him. Uh, Stacy's son, and I was a candle on his cake just a few months before I met Stacy. The Fonz was a candle on his cake. He came uh, as a gift with the marriage. She's now 52. And you say you often argued with your daughter, Zoe, who seemed quite feisty. <laughs> you know, I thought it was very important for our children to have chores. They were great negotiators. I did their chores. <laughs> Our daughter had a bunny. And uh, I said, so, did you clean the bunny's cage? Did you feed your bunny? She looked at my wife. Why did you marry him? <laughs> I can't listen to his voice anymore. <laughs> I said, Zoe, that hurts my feelings. Don't listen to me, I'm just a kid. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> These happy days.